Over the past few years, at-home DNA tests have surged in popularity, and it's easy to understand why. Finding out about your ethnic makeup can be a fun way to get in touch with your heritage, but there's another darker side to these tests, one that almost turned the world of pharmacist Julie Kennerly Shaw upside down, and she joins us along with genetic counselor Heather Hample. Thank you both so much for joining us. Thank you. So, uh, Heather, starting with you, why have uh, DNA tests, besides what I mentioned, grown so much in popularity? We think that it's um, because they are just much more accessible now. You can find them on the internet, you can find them in TV commercials, you can find them at your local convenience store or pharmacy. So they're really everywhere, um, so people are more conscious of them. The costs have come down, making them really accessible to anyone. And so they appeal to people's natural curiosity about their ancestry, you know, where did they come from and uh, what are the roots, but also potentially, you know, what diseases could they be at risk for getting um, in case there's something they can do to try and prevent those conditions. So give us a little more light on the actual accuracy of these tests. Like you're saying, they're accessible, they're mass produced, but are they accurate? So it, it depends on the test and what they're looking for. I think the ancestry information is fairly accurate. Um, it, some of the tests are really not intended to do a deep dive into our genetic material. So where they can be a little less ac accurate is with the health information. Um, so there's a recent study that's shown that the direct-to-consumer testing um, gives you a false positive result about 40% of the time. So if they tell you you have a mutation that causes an increased risk for a health condition, you really have to take it with a grain of salt because it is inaccurate. You may not even have that mutation 40% of the time. The opposite is true, too. We see a lot of false negatives potentially. Um, one of the labs recently got FDA approval to look at three mutations that cause a high risk for breast and ovarian cancer. But the problem is there's actually thousands of mutations that can cause a high risk for breast and ovarian cancer. So people might feel falsely reassured if they test negative for those three, oh geez, I'm not at increased risk, thank goodness, when they actually still could be, they've just had an incomplete test. Right, so Julie, you uh, got one of these tests, you tried it out, what happened next? I did. I uploaded my results in January of this year and, and found that I was actually um, testing positive for two genetic disorders. The first being Lynch syndrome, which puts you at a much higher risk of developing multiple types of cancer than the general population. And there are a lot of preventative measures that you can take if you do have Lynch syndrome to prevent getting cancer. And then the second, was for a cardiac disorder that would put me at a much higher risk for having a heart attack at some point in my lifetime. And so ironically, my husband's a physician, I'm a pharmacist, we feel like we're pretty educated consumers on the healthcare side of things, but we were in Africa on a medical mission trip when I logged in and saw these results from my hotel room. It was quite surprising to both of us because I did not have a significant family history for either cancer or heart disease. So my first step, being familiar with Heather's research at the James Cancer Hospital on Lynch Syndrome specifically, was to email Heather from my phone and say, Heather, what do I do? I don't have a significant family history. How soon can you see me? Can I get another test? And, and my journey then um, led to seeing Heather, getting a confirmatory test, and, and very thankfully being told that they were indeed false positives and I did not have either Lynch Syndrome or the cardiac disease. Disorder. Right. What a relief that must have been, and I think it's a it's a Absolutely. good warning for anybody taking these tests to take them with a grain of salt. But uh, if we do want to take a truly accurate test, uh, where can we actually go, Heather? You can find a genetic counselor near you at the website nsgc.org. And we'd encourage anybody with a strong family history of any health condition to um, see a genetic counselor for an evaluation and get the right testing, but also anyone who's had a positive result on direct-to-consumer testing that needs to be confirmed. Very good, uh, very essential and important information uh, for so many people who are interested in these tests. So thanks to both of you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Uh,